American consumers are often left wondering what's safe and what isn't. And when it comes to imported seafood, the answer may surprise you. Oh, John boy. Pruitt of WSB in Atlanta conducted an in-depth investigation and found, as that graphic would indicate, something fishy is going on. Here's his report. Country is the shrimp from Thailand. If you haven't noticed, almost all the seafood sold in supermarkets now comes from developing nations. Look closely. Tuna from Indonesia, orange roughy from China, tilapia from Costa Rica. Look from everything's from foreign countries. Foreign fish is cheaper and it's taking over the U.S. market. Eighty percent of all seafood sold in the U.S. is now imported. Now, I don't think the people have any idea how much uh, imported seafood is coming into this country. The FDA inspects and tests less than one percent of all seafood imports. And when it does, it frequently finds filthy fish and banned chemicals. FDA records show page after page of rejected shipments. Catfish from China, veterinary drugs, swordfish from Vietnam, poisonous. Snapper from Malaysia, filthy. If it's from a foreign country, I'd be very cautious. I wouldn't eat it. Ron Sparks knows what can be found in foreign fish. As Alabama's commissioner of agriculture, he's been to Vietnam and witnessed fish farmed in sewage. Sparks has ordered extensive testing of fish imports in Alabama, one of the few states with a seafood safety testing program. 50 to 60 percent of all fish imports in Alabama are rejected. One of the things often found in this imported fish is a fungicide called malachite green. It's illegal to use in food because it causes cancer and birth defects. Lab tests routinely detect antibiotics banned for use in food in the United States. Antibiotics are used to treat fish raised in crowded conditions that can breed bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Food safety advocates say the FDA is not doing enough to protect consumers. Consumers may be getting a dose of antibiotics with their seafood dinner. And that's something that the government should stop. Lab testers say fish farmers in nations like China play a cat and mouse game with them. When the lab rejects shipments for an illegal chemical, foreign fish farmers simply switch to another harmful chemical. They know it's illegal, they know it hurts people, but they do it anyway. It clearly means that these importers don't think they're going to get caught. The flood of foreign fish into the U.S. is having a devastating impact on fish farmers in the southeast. A catfish from this pond will sell for about $3 a pound. An import from China, $2 a pound. Bush Wilson's been a catfish farmer for almost 20 years. He says U.S. farmers play by the rules but can't compete with cheap importers who cut corners on safety. The farmers in the fish industry contend that we can compete with anybody in the world if we have a fair playing field. But if you've got an unfair playing field, nobody can compete. Researchers say the chemicals and antibiotics found may not make you sick immediately, but eaten over a long period of time, they pose a significant health risk. When you go out to a seafood restaurant, what type of seafood do you order? I don't. <laughs> Why take the chance? That's the problem, too. If you go to a restaurant, ask the waiter or waitress, so where is this from? Is it farmed or fresh? They'll go, huh? Huh? Yeah. I mean, it's very hard to track when you're going out to eat. And when you buy it at home, very expensive. I try to do freshwater fish uh, here, not farm fish. Extremely expensive. Chicken for me. <laughs>